Our speaker is Dr. Patrick Freud, who's uh, a chiropractor, uh, and he's a McGill undergrad graduate, uh, having done a degree here in anatomy. So we're going to uh, look forward to a scientific presentation of uh, chiropractic. Thank you, Dr. Schwartz. Having done my bachelor's degree at McGill, my goal was actually to become a medical doctor. And uh, just by chance, I happened to sit in this very theater 18 years ago to listen to a talk on chiropractic. And uh, to my own amazement, that talk really changed my aspirations. And I decided to become a chiropractor rather than a medical doctor. So needless to say, it's uh, rather interesting for me to be back here <laughs> 18 years later giving uh, this talk to you. Uh, I don't know if we're going to see any sudden career changes with any of you, but uh, I hope you enjoy the talk. Thank you for coming. I'd also like to say thank you to Dr. Rosengarten and uh, the Faculty of Medicine for further invitation. My goal in the next 30 minutes is to really give you a general overview of chiropractic and hopefully put you in a position where you feel more comfortable answering patients' questions and even consider referring certain types of patients to chiropractic uh, to help them out when appropriate. So if we look at the outline of what we're going to be talking about, we're going to run through the first three points, definition, the origin and status of the profession, education, what does a chiropractor go through to become a chiropractor. Then we'll focus on the next three points, which is the three facets of chiropractic. Chiropractic is often divided into these three aspects, philosophy, art, and science. We're going to look at some research and then talk about cooperation between the professions. So a good place to start is the definition. If we look at the etymology of the word chiropractic, it's actually from two Greek words, cure and praxis, which basically translates to practice by hand. And this, we're going to see, is not only a... Um, diagnostic tool, but also a therapeutic tool used by the chiropractor. The hands are really central to the profession. An official definition, it's a health profession concerned with the diagnosis, treatment, and prevention of mechanical disorders of the musculoskeletal system and the effects of these disorders on the functions of the nervous system and general health. There is an emphasis on manual treatments, including spinal adjustment and other joint and soft tissue manipulation. So. The idea of mechanical disorders, the idea of the neuromuscular, neuromusculoskeletal system is central to chiropractic. Uh, 